Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. So in this video, I have a 2012 uh, 6.7 Cummins that we're gonna be setting the valves on. Now this procedure is basically the same for all the 24 valves, just the specs are a little bit different. So if you come along with us, then uh, we'll show you how to get it done. So first things first, you gotta find your top dead center mark on your harmonic balancer. I cleaned this one off and marked it with a paint marker, so you can see it's like a little engraved line with TDC in it. To rotate the crank, you can use a 15 mil deep socket on the balancer bolts, or you can use the engine barring tool, but I find it a little easier just to use this if I'm working up front. So once you get the mark, you have to turn the crank so that mark is at the 12 o'clock position. So there we go, we got the mark at the 12 o'clock position. So with it at the 12 o'clock position, um, you can adjust half the valves. So if you have it on number one, which is the front cylinder, top dead center, both the intake valve and the rocker valve will be loose. But in this case, these are tight. It's not a problem, that just means you adjust the other half of the valves. So, in my case, right now, cylinder six will be at top dead center. So in this position, you can adjust the intake on number three, the intake on number five, and the intake on number six. And you can adjust the exhaust on number two, the exhaust on number four, and the exhaust on number six. So let's get that done. On uh, this truck, exhaust gets adjusted to 26 thousandths of an inch, and the intake gets adjusted to 10 thousandths of an inch. So let's get a wrench, Allen socket, and feeler gauge, and get it done. So we'll start off with the intake of valve on number three. So to adjust it, take a 14 mil wrench, put on the nut, Loosen that off. Take a ten thousandths of an inch feeler gauge. Slide it in. Take your Allen uh, Allen key. In this case, I got one in a socket on a quarter inch ratchet, and then just tighten it up. Until you have a light drag on the feeler gauge. Then take your wrench, well you leave the feeler gauge in there, take your wrench, hold against the wrench with the ratchet so you don't um, tighten the nut up more or tighten the adjuster up more when you tighten the nut up. Tighten up the nut. And this one's done. So once you have the last adjusted on those, you gotta go back down to the, to the balancer, turn it one revolution to bring your paint marker mark back up to the 12 o'clock position, and then you can adjust the other half of the valves. So here we go, we got the mark back around at the 12 o'clock position. Now we can see our number one intake valve is loose, and our exhaust valve is loose. So now we just have to go down and set the rest of the intakes to 10 thou and the rest of the exhaust to 26 thou and then we're done. So thanks 
for watching. Hopefully you learned how to adjust your valves on your 5.9 or 6.7 Cummins. Now again, this procedure is basically the same for all the 24 valves right up until 2019, where in their high output, I believe they went to a hydraulic lifter, so you don't even have to adjust the valves on them. Um, so yeah, the, the procedure's the same, but the specs are different. So um, I will post the specs for the other engines down below, so that'll help you out on getting it done for your older truck or your newer truck than this one. So thanks for watching, hopefully you enjoyed this video, and we'll catch you on the next one. And don't forget to like us on Facebook, subscribe on YouTube, and follow us on Instagram. Thanks for watching, and we'll talk to you in the next one.